Big Boys Neighborhood, man. We do our quarantine couch, and I am so happy to have this person in the neighborhood, and that is Kelly Rowling. Kelly Rowling, it is when you popped up on the screen, you are sunshine. How are you doing, Queen? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm so good. I feel the same way about you. <laughs> Kelly, let me ask you this. Why do you look like when I first met you and I look like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like can you explain like like why you look like file footage and <laughs> I, you know, like Kelly. Now I can guesstimate the calendars that we've known each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh gosh, yes. But you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you know, you. I really appreciate that, big. Thank you, man. So, so first off, we gotta say it's quarantine that's going on. You know, how are you holding up, Kelly Rowland? I'm good, actually. I'm really enjoying being here with my husband, my son, appreciating our home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have the time to do so, um, to have the time to sit with him and just ponder in on his thoughts. And like the other day we were playing some like gravity game and putting like tracks and stuff together. And we sat there for two and a half hours. See? And next thing I know, like he starts like communicating with me, like all these different things that he likes and dislikes and what this kid did at school and what he did and he, honesty. And, like, it's amazing. So yeah, the it's bonding crazy. time is really necessary and i'm just so blessed same thing with me and my husband i'm learning how to be the wife i heard that well you know what i sent my wife uh coffee and i was like baby please just listen to this you know what i'm saying with this draw i was like just listen to this like the the only thing is i'm doing the show from the house but i'm still working so uh -huh. i'm like you know before i leave knock it down for me you know what or, or walk into the studio naked you know what i'm saying like 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 like, like listen listen to, listen to the lyrics you know what i'm saying like it, and it, it's just crazy because even with coffee the single it just shows you how much we have grown and how much we accept you know because sometimes we want to put people in a box you know what i'm saying but but you ladies have really celebrated becoming ladies and women and mothers and and you know in in front of us you know what i'm saying so it's not crazy that we get a coffee from 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 kelly rolling because you're, you're you're grown and you got life you know a lot of life in you yeah yeah of course. do you feel like like at one point you people did try to try to box box you in i mean i think that people do try to box you in but it's also about like if you let them Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that for a while, I actually believed their hype. Right. I mean? So I, I had to ch take a real like shift, like mental shift and saying, that's not like, I can't let whatever it is that they're dealing with or going through, like, I can't allow them to put that stuff on me. But I did. I wore those garments for of, of whatever that was for a very long time. And I'm just not in that space anymore. And, um, I just, I just, yeah, you don't own it. If things, if things feel like they don't fit or they don't belong to you, I don't think that you should carry them anymore. You have to like drop them what, where they lie. So what have you been up to? I know what, before we jumped on, you said at this moment you were supposed to be in Australia. So you do take this time as a blessing with, with your family and, and even with, with just wellness. But what have you been up to with quarantine beforehand? Um, before quarantine, I've, this is like my fourth year we're doing The Voice um, in Australia, which has been so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, in between that time, well, before that, of course, I became a mother. Yeah. Um, and I got married. Um, I have settled down in Los Angeles. It's really, really beautiful here. I've been creating movies and content. Yeah. And that's been fun. Uh, but just exploring, you know what I mean? Exploring all my creative options and having fun with it. And what about now? You know, now that we're safer at home and in the quarantine, what do you, what does the day consist of? What are you doing now? Um, during the day, I'm with my little guy, Titan, mm -hmm. uh, who's five. How old is Titan at five? Yeah. He's okay. five, um, who is in school and being, I'm not a teacher. Oh, Lord. I'm not a teacher by no means. Um, but he's in uh, his Zoom classes. We try to put <laughs> together a schedule for him. Um, to keep him busy and keep him occupied. We run him up and down like the backyard. We go bike riding. Um, I'm on my calls in between there. I'm uh, putting together, I did Merry Little Christmas for Lifetime. It got 
really, really good praise. I'm very happy of that. We're actually working on um, another version of Merry Little right now that I wrote. Um, and what else? Um, just creating more things and finally done with another record that I'm very excited to share later. Um, but yeah. Coffee's now, when you say when you say a record, are we talking about a song? Or are you talking about is there a Kelly Rowland album that's coming? There's a body of work. Really? There's a body of work. Yeah. How excited are you j just about the space that you're in when it comes to motherhood? When it comes to being a wife, and also now it's like you got all these slashes, and we want 100% of everything. You got to be 100% wife, 100% mother, and then. We want 100% Kelly Rowland as an artist as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you balance all that? I'm learning, dude. Yeah. I really am learning. I, so many people ask that question. I feel like, you know, you just learn every day. You know, you learn about balance. Also tell my son and my husband, if I'm not giving them my full attention, they have to tell me. You right. know what I mean? Because I know I'll get lost in something that I'm doing work-wise, and I won't come up for air. And so if I'm with Titan, I like to be with him. If I'm with my husband and we're having dinner or making dinner together now, like I have to be there with him and, and um, respect that. So I respect every, every hat that I wear, I wanna respect it completely and give myself, like you said, all of myself mm -hmm. to it. But yeah, that's definitely a challenge because something always, you know, yeah. it's a little, uh, not as much attention. You know what, we're on this whole social distancing thing now. And knowing you throughout the years, I've seen how, how you are with your fan base. Yeah. Now, when you go out, if somebody were to ask for a picture, do you do it at a social distance? Or like, <laughs> what, what, what happens now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how are we going to do that. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. I mean, do you take the picture? Do y'all stand six, like six feet apart? Yeah. This? Like, I don't know how that's Hey, dude, happen. that's the way I've, because I've been out, and that's the way I've been having to do the pictures is, okay, well, you hold it, and I'll stand back here. I ain't even got pictures now while I'm wearing gloves and a mask because we do these these feedings and everything. So it, 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 it's different. But you know what's the trip about that, too, Kelly, is the public, we as fans, we got to allow you that, too. Allow you to say, you know, Okay, you stand right there, baby, and we, we get it, or, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be a little different when we get out there. Is there a thing that you miss the most as far as not, not being able to do certain things right now? Yeah, my family. You know, uh, like, I, as far as, like, you know, um, my sisters, we're all here. You know, Solo, B, mm -hmm. Angie, Tina, Richard. Like, I, we have, like, family gatherings all the time and we see each other all the time so it's um we haven't seen each other so it's, so do y'all have to communicate through through like facetime oh yeah we have FaceTime. Yeah. now we have facetime yeah but it's time. um and we have like you know a text uh chain that we always text each other on but yeah. can you add me to that if i give you my phone number can oh you, you don't want to be <laughs> in those conversations yeah. <laughs> I won't mess around and see a text like, yeah, I had silly ass big boy today, girl. This 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 motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like right. whatever y'all do, make sure that y'all don't cross paths with him. No, are you getting dressed every day or do you have those just I'm just in flip-flops and sweats or are are those pajamas right now? Yes, these are pajamas right now. Oh, those are some dope ass uh, uh what is that? Silk? What is that? Silk? What is that? Satin? Yes, so sad. I don't know. Woo! Yeah, man. I'm not going to even tell you. Like, I put this on because I knew that I was going to do an interview with you, just a little basic hoodie. But at the bottom, Kelly, I look, I look a mess. I'm, I'm wearing, like, yeah. I don't even want to stand up because I don't want no lawsuits. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to continue a relationship with you, you know? So so I definitely don't, don't want to do that. What does Kelly Rowland want to do when she get, when we so-called get out? I miss restaurants. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I miss restaurants because you know what the <laughs> thing is? It's like it's such a nice social setting, and it's but then you think about glasses and plates and knives and Ooh. forks and spoons and I just told my wife the same thing. And, 
I you said, am I going to have Lysol wipes and start Lysol wiping the fork and then go behind that with a baby wipe, you know? But I do miss, like, can I refill your iced tea? Or you want to start off with some appetizers? Or, you know, like, and, and not that, I don't think that we've, you know, and maybe did we take it for granted, whatever, did was it our norm? But I enjoyed it then. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's not a don't know what you got till it's gone. It is in a sense, but I, I enjoyed that then, you know? No, you know what else I enjoy? Theme parks. Yeah. Like me yeah. and my husband and Titan, like we go to Disneyland and, you know, to Six Flags. Like we love like roller coasters. Right. So, like, I but miss could you go to a, could you go to Disneyland or could you go to a theme park and, and walk through cool? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Everybody's like really respectful. It's chill. Like. You know, I, I love the way, like, I watched Julia Roberts, like, maneuver her way through a room and nobody was tripping. You know what I mean? And I was like, that's dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she just, like, literally was, like, maneuvering, like, through this, like, room where I saw her, this place that I saw her. And, you know, people smiled and, like, looked over, like, oh, my God, that's her. But it was right. just, like, she, she played it cool, so everybody else played it cool. Right, right. So she sent the vibe out. Yes, it was such a valuable lesson. I felt like I learned from her. Cause she just, just like chilled, you know what I mean? And I said, mm -hmm. I want to do that. I want to be that. I want to learn how to do that because then it still allows you this value of life. Right. That isn't, you know what I mean? And I love that for my son and I love that for our household. So f fame is one thing, but like when you have kids, it plays a completely different role and you, you want, you know, to have that, that really means a lot to me. And that's the same with me, man. Like, I could have been, like, extremely famous. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, let me just keep myself right here in the mediocre category. You know what I'm saying? Where, where <laughs> well, I can... Let's, start, let's, let's make it very clear. You are far from mediocre. There's only one big boy. And when you do enter a room, it's, it's something very dominant about your personality. And but you know what? I get people that say, oh, big boy, big boy's coming. Then when I walk in, they be like... Oh, that big boy. They were like, oh, I thought Andre was coming and I thought it was big boy from Outcast. And then everybody just kind of leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, big boy. Shut up. Shut <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up there. What I want to do, Kelly Rowland, is when I come back, I want to do a thing called Give Me Five with you. I'm going to ask you five questions that be real quick. You get to, don't be, don't be all nervous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> five questions and we're going to get through it. All right, you good for Give Me Five? That's wonderful, let's do it. What I want to do right now, Kelly, Give Me Five. I'm going to ask you five questions. You get through and we good to go. All righty. Okay. Kelly Rowland, um, what have you done more of since you've been in quarantine? Read. <laughs> like, are you, are you? Like books and everything, like definitely reading a lot more. I, I've noticed that I've started to read more by choice because I have been caught up on so many different things that I'm st I've, I've, I really find myself reading more. Who would you not let in your house right now during quarantine? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Um. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't. You you thinking you just trying to keep it like oh I can't say such and such because <laughs> yeah. I don't know I honestly don't know because I was like I had a I had a friend who was visiting like who actually has already started to fly and I'm already like funny about that mm -hmm. I'm not ready to fly and I mean just kind of creeps me out right now but everybody says it's a good time to fly but a friend of mine came from New York. And like, oh, can I come to the house? You know, I don't have, you know, the virus, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, I love you, but no. You're like, no, nah, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do even one better. Hold on. Uh, can I get the number to the uh, rich car? Like, I'll put you up, but I ain't putting you up <laughs> over here. Give me five Kelly Rowland in the neighborhood. What is the most expensive thing that Beyonce bought you? I'm not answering that. <laughs> I'm not answering that. She's a cheap gift, gift giver? She's a beautiful gift. She's a thoughtful gift giver. Uh, so it's not about expensive. It's about the thought that goes into it. Yeah, but the, the thought is always like the sweetest, most elaborate thought. <laughs> really? Is yeah. it in the driveway right now? No, she's, she's such a great giver, though. She okay. Yeah. 
You sure you don't want to just tell me that for my ratings? Oh, okay, just just checking. All right, just checking. So, let, okay, let's get to the next question. Um, what is the most expensive thing that Beyonce bought you? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stop. All right, no, we move on to the next one. All righty. Um, what is the no, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Okay, no. Kelly, I've known you for years, all righty? When you first came to the neighborhood, all righty, I've lost weight. How much do you think I weighed when you first met me? Keep it real. I wore size 66 pants. I wore an 8X shirt. How much do you think I weighed when I first met you? My gosh, I literally just pictured your face in my head and going to the station, but it was the original four. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. Um, three hundred. God bless you. God bless you. I heard that. Go ahead now. Am I right? Yeah. No, no. You were two. You two hundred pounds off. I weighed over five hundred pounds Did when y'all came. Yeah, you don't you don't remember how you when y'all came, y'all started like petting me and y'all putting peanuts in my nose. Shut you, don't <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? No. You, and, and then Beyonce was like, Oh my god, can I ride him? Can I just get on <laughs> his back? And you was like, then I'm second, and then the table was like, I'm third. You you, you don't remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. And then when I started walking, y'all was like, Oh my god, look, he walking everything. Y'all were y'all were amazed. Kelly Rowling, give me five. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? Um, losing people that I love. I heard that. I heard that. Let's bring it home, man. Kelly Rowland, what is the most thoughtful and expensive thing that Beyonce bought for you? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give you one. Okay, please. Um, when I first moved into my house in, uh, when I first bought a house in Texas that I no longer have, um, her and my mama T, her mother, mm -hmm. bought me a beautiful baby grand piano. Damn. You still have the piano? Of course. How much do you think that costs? And I'm just going, all right, <laughs> we're we, 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 we going to let it go. Kelly, I definitely want to thank you for coming in and hanging out with us. And you know, it's a trip. These are the moments that we get that's a blessing when it comes to quarantine and, and doing certain things because I haven't had you in the neighborhood like I would like to. And this right here is what I would call another blessing, just to be able to see you and talk with you and laugh with you. And we probably wouldn't have had this moment because you would have been in Australia taping. And, and this, this is one of those things I call that a blessing in disguise. And, and time is valuable. And I thank you for your time. Uh, you know what? No, I have a really good present that she got me. Who, Beyonce? Yes. What was it? So when I lost my mother oh. and my grandma, she got me to, because my favorite animal is the elephant. She got me two of these beautiful gold elephant rings and symbols for my mother and my grandma. And see, that's when the thoughtful came in. That's when the thoughtful came in. I love you and thank you for your time, honey. When we all get back together, let's all get back together, you and I, and let, let's sit down and have, have a, a, another conversation. But I appreciate you, Queen. I would love that. I appreciate you too, Big. Thank Kelly you. Rowland in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Neighborhood. Boy!